130 kilos, Clinton Schultz. How are you feeling, man? Good, excited. Excited to wrestle tomorrow. It's looking a little, uh, little extra fluffy, a little extra fluffy. Yeah. You pick it, you pick it. Yeah, a little, a little bit, a little bit. I was taking a nap before this, so when I woke up looking uh, a little dented. Had to, had to fix it up a little bit. All right, so you know you got kind of a familiar opponent in Adam King. You know, I mm. see you guys, you know, hanging out, joking around a little bit. Yeah. You guys are yeah. buddies. Does that make it harder, you know, going in or? Um, you know, it's. I don't say it's harder. It's something I'm, I'm, I'm familiar with the situation now. Um, you know, I've wrestled uh, Robbie Smith, who was my training partner for years. So I'm wrestling Adam Kuhn, who uh, I was, he was my training partner for a little bit now. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's nothing different. It's, uh, you just got to beat whoever's in front of you. Um, just got to accept the fact that Sherry might know a little bit about me, but I know a little bit about him. So. How beneficial has it been for you to work out at the training center with guys like Robbie Smith, Adam Kuhn growing up? Yeah, it's been uh, it's been incredible. It's been a real blessing. I was lucky enough to get in there. Um, going into my freshman year, I think that, that summer is when I first started training down there. Um, you know, it's been awesome to be able to. I mean, that first year, I remember I was wrestling Andy Beesick every day, getting beat up by him, just trying to pick his brain all the time, um, asking all the all the questions, asking the coaches everything I can. Um, it's been a huge blessing. I don't know where I'd be without it. Do you feel any maybe extra added pressure or anything by being so young and having the success at the young age that you've had? Uh, honestly, not at all. I'm just doing what I love. Um, the way I see it, uh, I don't think he cares too much about how old I am. So it don't matter to me. I'm just trying to take advantage of every opportunity in front of me. If I can be a, if I make it to the, the World Championships as a 18 year old, then I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do whatever I can to make it happen. Um, it's just uh, I've been blessed. I've been lucky enough that I'm getting there a little younger than most people. But uh, yeah, it's been awesome. I'm not worried about it at all. So now you've wrestled overseas a bunch at the NHL World Championships. Mm -hmm. What have you taken away from those experiences, and how much has that experience going to help you now? You know, I think. A big part of Greco is getting that international experience. Um, honestly, that American Greco, it's a, it's a little different than what they wrestle overseas. Um, so you gotta you gotta work that. You gotta figure out how to work the refs, how to how to just understand that feel. Um, there's a lot of feel that you gotta figure out just by mat time. That's the only way to get it. Um, you know, I've been I've been lucky. I've been real lucky and real blessed. Technically now, also just maybe speak a little bit about as the ex Adam, you know, yeah. like yeah. as an yeah. opponent, yeah. you know, like, what's yeah. like kind of a plan going in, you know? Um, you know, he's a, he's a big, strong guy. He's a world silver medalist. He's got a real dangerous body lock. Um, so I gotta, I just gotta play to my strengths and uh, try to play it not to his, you know. Um, I, I, the coaches and I, we got a game plan. I can't, I can't give it all away, but um, at the end of the day, the game plan stays the same though. Put up more points than the other guy, so just uh, try my best to do that. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, it's what I love to do. The uh, ASU coaches know that. Um, they know I, I want to win NCAA titles and I want to win World Olympic titles. It just happens to be in Greco. Um, so they're all about it. I'm all about it. Thank you.